The first part of the form section that you need to do is create these shapes that are flat right now into three-dimensional forms by drawing vanishing lines to the vanishing point and making the thickness of the back edges parallel to the front edges. So I'm going to take a straight edge and we're going to start with the rectangle and turn it into a box by lining up your ruler with the vanishing point and each corner that does not draw a line through the shape itself to create the edges of the box that are moving further away. Every line needs to be straight by standing up your pencil and letting the tip follow against the edge of the ruler. And then once you have the front edge done, you're going to use your ruler on each edge and drag it back away without making it change angles to create a parallel back edge between vanishing lines to the edge in front. So at this corner, I'm going to swivel my ruler around to make it parallel to the front edge on the side and connect to the vanishing lines to finish my rectangle. When you're done, you're gonna erase the vanishing lines that are left over and then move on to the next form, which will be the pentagon. And remember, each corner is a vanishing line to exactly to the vanishing point from every corner that would not go through the shape. So I can't draw that corner or this corner because it would go through the middle of the shape. And then for each front edge, the back edge has to be the same thickness or parallel line to the front edge between the vanishing lines. So match the back edge and the front edge with parallel lines between. Erase the extra vanishing lines. And then move on to the next shape that's a triangle. And notice I'm connecting my ruler to the vanishing point, but I'm only drawing my vanishing lines long enough to make the thickness of the shape where I want it to be. And then when my ruler is parallel to the edge in the front, exactly the same angle, then I can erase the vanishing lines and then I don't have to re erase as much as I normally would have. So now you've completed all three forms. Now you're going to use warmer cool colors to color in the forms, each side a different value to make these forms look more and more 3D. I'll show you that in just a sec.